Hello everyone, my name is Pixelrifts and today I'm going to show you how to spice up your library area with this awesome looking customised bookshelf. Now this design looks best surrounded by other bookshelves and if you come up the top here you'll see there's even a volume resting on the very top of the shelf and that's not easily visible from ground level but during this tutorial I'll show you how to get that effect somewhere a little bit more visible. So if anybody has guessed by now that this design uses armor stands, you are 100% correct. For this design you'll need three armor stands, two stair blocks, I'm using oak wood stairs because they fit the panelling of the bookshelf blocks really well. You'll need a piston and a button to move some stuff around, some bookshelves which I'll be using as building blocks and area decoration, three sets of leather pants, and if you want the extra book on top effect you want a leather hat as well. So I'm going to build a couple of bookshelves out here just to get the general feel of the area, and we're going to have the shelf sitting in the bookshelves like that, like I've got it over there. So to start off with, you want to place one armor stand with its back facing this way. So if this is the front, then it's facing kind of towards the back corner. And you're gonna put a set of leather pants on there. Then you're gonna take out this bookshelf here, place a piston, add a button there and push it over to one side. That's going to give it the effect that it's kind of tilted like this one over here is and it should blend into the bookshelf nicely. It's not going to glitch out or anything so it should look pretty good. Next you want to build your way up here so you can place some more armor stands and you want to do an identical effect with this one but facing in the opposite direction. So this one is going to be facing this back corner so the front of it faces out that way and you're going to use a piston to push it over. Now obviously you need to place a block there to make sure that it's going to be pushed into the right place and not just be pushed over onto the next block. Then you can take the block out from underneath and it's going to be facing that way. Again the base plate is going to look a little bit glitchy for now but it's not going to glitch into the other books. If you pop the last armor stand in here and this one if you want the, the hat on top if you want to add that now make sure it's as straight as possible. Armor stands spawn in like a variety of formations and positions and so you kind of want to make sure that the head is as straight as possible so you don't get that slope because if that happens because this is so flat over here it's going to glitch into the block a little bit and it won't look like a full book so you might need to reset the armor stand a couple of times until you get the head at more or less the angle you want i think that's looking flat enough so you for this one you want to place the leather pants on it before you drop it down these two you can pretty much swap out the pants whenever you like but once you drop this one in, its hitbox is going to be obscured by the two either side and you're not going to be able to change anything on that armor stand. So put the hat and the pants on that one before you do anything else. Now the last thing you want to do is push down the shelf on top of this so you get a nice looking shelf. And for that you just need to pop the oak stairs in that formation facing that way. Activate, oh, <laughs> not that piston. You want to activate the piston facing downwards like that, pushing the stair block over the top of those. And then you want to come around the back here and place a stair block in this orientation like that. So it's got a completely solid face on this side. The stair is over there so people can't see it if it's against this wall. Push that down over the top. You'll notice the helmet still sticks out of the top there and that, if it's completely flat, will look like a nice leather bound volume. You can get rid of the piston and stuff now if you want to or you can just add another bookshelf over the top if you'd like to do that as well. But because this isn't a solid block, the armor stands don't end up with that lighting glitch so they are still completely visible and they look like a nice leather bound set of books. Now if you want the effect of a leather bound book resting on a nearby side table, all you need to do is set up a, an armor stand in a hole like this, make sure the head is as flat as possible as before and add on your leather hat. I think it looks pretty good just with a basic leather helmet because it kind of looks like it's a leather bound book. And if you pop a piston down there, put some oak wood stairs facing that way like so, activate the piston like that, it'll get pushed down on top of the helmet and that will look like a book resting on a side table. All you need to do after that is just dress it up around the side so it's concealing the fact that it's a stair block, and I think that looks pretty good. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. My name has been Pixorus. Please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will see you guys soon. Bye for now. But already that is cool, right? I love that. That's really neat, having stuff behind glass like that. I've never even thought of doing something like this before as a kind of wall freeze idea. So yeah, my industrial craft area is gonna look like this from now on.